And so today we're going to be doing the practical uh, assessment lesson, um, which is uh, part four of the Systems Architecture course in Year 9. And we're going to be looking at the uh, Little Man computer, which is essentially a simulation of the fetch, decode, execute cycle. So by looking at the Little Man computer, we learn how a processor or a CPU inside of a computer actually looks at instructions and data in the RAM and understands what to do with them. Um, and so there's three steps you're going to need to do first. First of all, you're going to need to download the uh, Excel file of, of the Little Man computer. And then you're assuming you've done that and you're now watching the video. And then you're going to pick one of the three exercises. I would probably think you're going to have time within the lesson to have two, to do two of these exercises. So start on one below what you think you're capable of and then move up to the next one after that. And so once you've downloaded the workbook, the most important thing that you'll do is that you will make sure that you just, when you open it, it says this book, workbook contains macros um, and you'll click enable macros. Um, and then in here you will see a little man computer file. Um, a little man computer operates as follows. You type in the following machine code instructions. Um, so here I've typed in these values 901, uh, 309, 109, 902 and triple zero. And then what you type in relates to, um, to, this, uh, to these codes here. So 901 means input a number. Uh, 309 means store a number in address 9. So you see here what I've typed in last time is stored in address 9. 109 means add the value of address 9 or maybe add 9 to this number. Um, and then 902 means output that on the screen. Let's see how it works and step it through. So the first thing you'll need to do is click reset and you'll notice that um, this is all the program counter is now set to zero and then each time I click step it will do the instruction so there 901 meant input a value input so here I'm going to type in the value I don't know 24 and then I'll click OK and so the accumulator now has the value 24 yeah and so I think we'll step forward to the next instruction and what it's done is 309 it's stored the value 24 in the address 9 so 3 means store um, and 09 means store in address 9 so you see that the program counter is 2 and the current instruction registers 109 so the program counter is moved to address 2 the current instruction is 109 so 109 means add the value at the address 9 to 24 so I'm expecting it to do to go to 48 but we'll see what happens here so I'm going to click step now and it does so it now adds the value that was at address 9 to the to the accumulator so 24 plus 24 is 48 and then the final one so now the program counter is 3 it says 902 so current instruction is 902 the current instruction register and 902 means output, so it means output this value on the screen. So I click step and it places 48 onto the screen. Um, I'm going to, and then finally, I haven't finished the last one, 000 means stop or halt. So I step the last one and it says end. It's the end of the program. I'll just reset it there. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to um, do a loop in here. So I'm going to take in um, a value and then I'm going to make it um, repeat and uh, output that value 10 times onto the screen. Yep. So to start with I'll need to um, get that value into the accumulator um, and so I will do 901, got the value and then I'm going to store the value in the accumulator at address 10 and then I'm going to set the value of the accumulator to address 11 and in 11 I'm going to store the value 5 because that's the number of times that I want it to repeat. So in here I'm going to load from the accumulator address 11 and then I'm going to 
right the I then going to subtract one from the address possibly subtract one that's right yep two um, and therefore I'll need the address too so subtract one from there I'm just going to read that so I'm going to subtract that value from the accumulator so it's now gone down to four I'm going to write I'm going to load the value that was in address 10 again LD now I'm going to store that value into the, the value that's in the accumulator back in address 11 so that is store is 311 I'm then going to load the value that is at that is on the that was in the accumulator before so load what was in 10 so it's 5 1 oh, so load the value that I've stored I'm then going to add the so I've loaded the value that I've stored and then going to write that on the screen and um, so that's output 902 and um, I'm then going to load the value that's in um, that's in address uh, 11 so load 511 and I'm going to uh, see if that value is 0 so if it's less than 0 so as in I've done it 5 times already so that's if the value I don't need to actually load it I can just see if that value is so that's 8 uh, one one. So if the value that's stored in eight one one um, is less than zero, you get nine to load it to start with. So that's five one one. And then if the value in the accumulator now is less than zero, then I want to go to the start of the loop again to the point where I started looping. So that one was input number. That's store it in ten. And that one there is load the value that's in eleven. So to load the value that's in eleven, so it's got to be eight one one. So let's go to no eight. 02 so let's go to address 2 if we've got less than 0 otherwise halt and that should work so I'm going to take you through this I'm expecting this to go through these to loop around five times let's have a go so let's go reset that's fine and then step so the first thing it's going to ask me to input a number so I'm going to write the 34 and I'm expecting this to be output um, to be output five times I click OK it then sets the value of the accumulator to 34. I go step, and it transfers the value of 34 into address 10. That's what 3010 does. I'm now going to step over that 511. I expect to load the value that's at address 11, which is 5. So step, and so it's placed 5 in the accumulator. Um, now we've got 212, which means subtract the value that's at address 12 so subtract 1 from that so step so that now goes down to 4 meaning that I've done one loop through I'm now going to look at 311 so 311 is store the value 4 back in that address so step that and that's now gone down to 4 so I've counted down to I've counted down to 4 um, and I'm looking at 501 and that means load the value that's in 10 so step so I've loaded the value that I've typed it in and step again write it on the screen um, I'm then going to after I've written on the screen I'm then going to load again the value that was in the load again the value that's in address 11 so that's in address 11 and then I'm going to say if it's less than 0 then go to address 2 step which it is sorry if it's greater than 0 then go to address 2 so it's now looped back up to 2 and it's going to um, step it's going to load the values in there and then it's going to subtract one from it and then it's going to store that back in address 11 and then it's going to get the address the value 34 out of it it's going to print that on it's going to print that onto the screen it's then going to load the value 3 again 
is going to see if that's zero. It's not zero yet, and so it's going to go back to the top. It's going to step over that. It's going to load the value 34, and it will keep doing this until I get to the value. I've done this five times, and then it will con then it will halt the program. So this time here, where the actual the current there's naught cycles left, I go step one last time, hopefully, and then it says it's ended. Um, and so I'm going to do that again. I'll reset it all um, and place the values that I want into the into the accumulator. So where was I? Um, Ten is empty. Eleven was five, and twelve was one. So if you watch this five times and step it through, input a value. I don't know, sixty-six. Okay, and then I'll just keep stepping through. Oops. In case it said end, I don't think I've reset this properly. So I'm going to start it again, step it through, input value 66. OK, step. So it now places the value 66. It um, is now going to go and subtract 1 from the counter. Load bright 66 on the screen. Then if you watch this, it will go through this 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, Five. This actually term does it six times before it ends, so it's terminating it one too many times, and that's because it's greater than or equal to zero. And so potentially, I need to increase that from five, from being five to four, and that will ensure that it happens five times. So hopefully, you've seen how you can cr produce a loop um, in this uh, using this uh, little man computer. Um, and in turn you should be able to use that to access the A grade um, task that's on the, um, that's on the VLE.